and welcome to another vlog my face looks disgusting i have no makeup on my hair is a mess and my ear looks infected so this is off to a great start but today i am going to plan some outfits because i'm going to la tomorrow and i always like to plan my outfits so i don't overpack because i used to be a huge overpacker like i would literally go away for two or three days and i brought like two checked luggage. I looked like I was going away for a whole month, but it was really just two days. I brought like everything and that was not very smart. So now I like to plan my looks ahead of time so I know exactly what I'm wearing and I only bring those things. I'm just too lazy to put on makeup. And I honestly don't even like wearing makeup to try on clothes because they sometimes get all over the clothes and that's not really good either let's start planning some looks the first thing i want to take with me is this louis vuitton parka because i checked the weather and it says it's actually going to be raining in la on saturday and sunday which is a shocker because it never rains and i'm wearing it as a dress and it is quite short as a dress but i feel like it could work especially if you wear some shorts underneath i'm thinking white boots will be nice with this or something kind of similar or maybe beige boots i pulled out a few white boots that i have so the one that i'm wearing is actually the louis vuitton white boots and they're from several seasons ago and they have that cool heel with the star and then these are Fendi ones with a lower kitten heel. And then this is a pair from Sergio Rossi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then this one is Aquazura. And it's like a white patent pointed toe sock booty. And we can go all Louis Vuitton. But I think, I don't know if I like that rounded toe. I'm not a fan of rounded toe shoes anymore. I used to not mind them, but recently I haven't bought any shoes with a rounded toe just because I think a pointed toe looks much sleeker and that's what I prefer. So I'm going to try on these Aquazura ones because they're basically the same version as the Louis Vuitton ones except for they're pointed. I think I definitely prefer the pointed toe over the rounded toe from the Louis Vuitton. So between this one and that other pair, I like the Aquazura ones, but we still have these two to try. I actually don't think I'm going to try these on with it because I don't think a kitten heel looks so nice with this kind of jacket. So I'm just going to try these Sergio Rossi ones and see what I think. This is probably my least favorite out of the three because it hits at a weird ankle length height, which makes your leg look really short and stubbly. So the best one, I think, is that pointed toe Aquazura one. And then I like the Louis Vuitton, and this one is the worst. Now I'm wearing this really cool asymmetrical like dress thing. This is like shorts on one side, and then the other side is like a pants. So it's asymmetrical, and it's really cool. I love the design. I can't actually remember the name of the designer. It starts with an M but I don't remember. I will link everything down below those, so I will put it down there if you're curious. And I'm going to look for a pair of shoes to go with this dress. So I picked these two shoes that I'm going to try, and one of them is a pump and the other one is a mule. I think I already know which one is going to work better because the mule might look nicer, I think, just because it's more whimsical. And this dress is a very whimsical, fun look. So this is what it looks like with the mule on. So here is the dress with these Sophia Webster mules. I got these mules a really, really long time ago, and I think I've only worn them once. And here is the dress with the pumps. These are the Saint Laurent opium pumps with the YSL in the heel. I think it works also, but it's more for evening, and I plan to wear this dress during the daytime, so a pump just looks too formal in my opinion. There's also actually one other shoe I want to try on with this, and it's these Balenciaga mules. I actually like the Balenciaga mules a lot. I think they look quite nice. Between these and the Sophia Webster uh, mules, those are my two favorites. I don't like the Saint Laurent pump. So I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Maybe still the Sophia Webster one, I think. Now I'm gonna try to find what to wear with these Chanel leggings. I was thinking a blazer, 
but I think this blazer looks too long and you know, it looks kind of funny so maybe I will try a shorter length blazer. I put on this other blazer. It's a bit shorter in length and it actually has these satin labels which is kind of nice. But I don't want it to look too dressy. And I'm wearing these Balenciaga velvet crystal pumps. I mean this could work. I don't know how I feel about this look. This is another blazer. It's actually one of my favorites because I love the shape and the detailing on the shoulder and the sleeve. It's from Barbara Bowie and Barbara Bowie used to be one of my favorite designers and she had one store I believe in California which was on Rodeo Drive but that store closed down two years ago and so now I think her only stores are in Paris which is kind of sad but whenever I go to Paris I make sure to go by her store and I can also get her stuff from online. But anyways, I think I prefer this blazer over the all black one because the silver detailing really brings out the silver in the leggings nicely but I do still want to try the leggings with some blouses and see how that looks I just put on this Isabel Morant top with these humongous puffy shoulders I don't know I think it looks a bit funny with these leggings like the leggings look so casual and this top looks very dressy so I feel like it's really confusing first of all that Isabel Morant top was such a pain to get off it was a pain to get on also but taking it off I felt like I was gonna like rip my head off it was so difficult I was probably missing a zipper or something so now I am wearing this really beautiful Philosophy di Lorenzo Serafini blouse it's like a button down or it's not buttons they're like these little clasps and it's like a little jacket top I don't know what you call it and I think it looks quite nice with the leggings this is one of my favorite black tops I actually have this in white as well because back then when I found something that I loved I got it in like multiple colors. I don't do that anymore. At least I try not to. And I've actually never worn the black one. I have worn the white before. So this would be the first time I wear the black. I had to take a little break because the UPS guy just came. So I had to go answer the doorbell because he needed a signature. And I'm going to show you these three items that I just got. This first one is a gold shirt. And the brand is Equipment. Equipment usually makes those very boring kind of basic shirts. But I saw this one and I thought it was really cool. And under the light... It looks like liquid metal gold. And next is this pair of trousers from a brand called Area. It's like a very young brand and they have a lot of very cool pieces that sometimes are a bit wild, like heavily embellishing crystals or something, but I kind of like it. It's definitely a younger brand, so something like my mom would never wear. And this pair of pants is kind of like that shirt but it's a lame material, whereas the other one, I don't know, it's more of a silky. I'm going to actually try this on with the shirt together and see what it looks like. I know it's going to look really crazy and super blingy and way too gold, but let's just try to see if they fit and if we like how the shirt looks and how the pants look. And the last thing are some shoes from Saint Laurent. These shoes I'm really excited for because, look... Wow, they are so stunning. You know I'm a big fan of things that sparkle or were embellished with crystals. So it's like a sparkly black and silver striped toe. And I really like the shape, how it cuts into a V. I think that's very flattering. And the back is just plain black and it's croc embossed and a very thin stiletto heel, which is my favorite. I don't really like chunky heels so much or wedges. I love a super thin heel. So let's try these on and then we will try on the shirt and the pants. I'm wearing this robe right now so it doesn't look so nice, but these are the shoes. I'm so glad that they fit. They actually barely fit because I usually wear a 39 in Saint Laurent and these are 38 and a half because the 39 was sold out. I love them. I think they are so beautiful in such a nice shoe for the evening. I put on this all gold outfit. It looks a bit much together. So I really like these pants, but the shirt, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this shirt because it looks a little bit cheap, I think in my opinion, at least compared to the pants. You can definitely tell I think the shirt doesn't look as nice. The pants fit beautifully and I like how they're high-waisted with like a little bit of a flared leg. 
and I think they also come in this other color, like a purplish blue tone. So I'll link those down below as well. I think a statement shoe will look really nice with this look. So I'm wearing these Amina Muadi ones. But I'm going to try another shoe as well and then also find a bag for this. This blue Louis Vuitton one adds a nice pop of color also. For something like this, I wanted to have like a pop of color just so it makes the outfit a bit more interesting. I personally really love these Louis Vuitton shoes with this look, but we will try the Balenciaga ones, the green ones that I have as well. They add a really nice pop of color because these are super neon. Like the green is one of the brightest greens I have. And for bag, I think I'm going to do one of my Bottega pouches, probably the gold one. And I decided to go for something a lot more simple. I'm just doing a plain white t-shirt but with shoulder pads in them and this Chanel necklace, the new one that I got. And then I'm wearing these simple Bottega sandals in the beige color and I really like how this all looks together. And the bag I'm going to carry is going to be this new Chanel bag, but I'm going to fold it in half. There is tissue inside, so I can't do it right now. I think this will be a nice outfit. It's like casual, but still a bit cool and edgy. Good morning. It is very early. I actually woke up at 4 a.m. this morning to do my makeup, and then a friend came over and did my hair at 5 a.m. So right now, it is 6.08 in the morning. And the reason why I had to get up so early is because I have a flight at 8.30, so I need to leave for the airport at 7. And as soon as I land in LA, I have a job that I have to go to. I'm actually filming something. The call time is 11.15 and my flight lands at 10.15, so I'm going to head straight from the airport to the location because I won't have any time to stop by the hotel to drop off my stuff. That is the plan. And now I need to go pack up my stuff and then I'm gonna call an Uber and be on my way. I'm at LAX again and of course I have to get my beaming juices. The black magic is my favorite, so I'm just gonna grab all of them. Quick little update because I haven't really been able to share anything with you guys since I was at the airport because I've been so busy. I was filming and I wish I could tell you guys what it was for, but I'm not allowed to. All I can say is that it will be out next year. I can't wait for the world to see as well. For now, I just got back to the hotel and I am starving because I have not eaten all day and right now it's 4 o'clock I think. It's 4.15 in the afternoon. I also barely drank any water so I'm dying of thirst and I'm going to just order some food, eat, and then I'm going to also get a manicure because my nails are disgusting. I don't have any polish on my nails and they really need to be fixed up. So that is the plan this afternoon. I am so hungry, so I'm gonna go order. I just finished getting my manicure. The color that I got is OPI and it's called Teremisu for Two. It's like a nudish pink color without being sheer because I really dislike sheer nail polish colors. And um, usually I go to this place in LA called Mini Lux but I'm in downtown LA right now. I'm staying here for one night because tomorrow I have a shoot in downtown LA so it's just easier for me to stay here. And then I'm moving over to Beverly Hills tomorrow. So there's no Mini Lux, which is where I usually go uh, for my manicures. And Mini Lux is like my favorite place to get manicures done because they have this nail polish that literally dries in three minutes. And it's infused with like vitamins and minerals so it's actually good for your nails and it lasts for a really long time. It's like gel, but it's much better for your nails than gel. So now I'm walking over to this waxing place because I know many of you guys have asked and leave in the comments, like what do I do with my sideburns? And I don't shave them, but I wax them. And I've been waxing them for like over a year now. I did used to shave my sideburns, but then that left like little black dots like little black hair marks in them so I started waxing them and that I just found was a much better solution my sideburns are now waxed I mean even 
you probably can't tell the difference in the video but in real life there was like little black pieces of hair that had grown out so it was definitely time to do it now i'm walking over to whole foods this street is so much quieter than that other street i was walking in downtown la can be weird there's like some streets that are so loud or if like a big truck is driving by you literally cannot hear a single thing and the street is nice and quiet and not so busy so I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and pick up a few things and then I'm gonna head back to the hotel. I took off all my makeup. I'm going to head to the gym, then come back and do some emails and then have dinner because I'm not too hungry since I ate lunch just a few hours ago. And I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. So I actually decided to sleep with my hair in. The trick is you put a shower cap over your hair and that saves me an hour in the morning because then I don't have to wake up an extra hour to do my hair or have someone else come do my hair. So I got to wake up at 8 o'clock today which was really nice because yesterday I had to get up at 4 and now I'm just doing my little morning routine thing because I do intermittent fasting but I still do take one of these apple cider vinegar shots and then I eat one of these little vitamin things. So I'm just going to do that now and then do my makeup and then I'll be ready for the day. Makeup is done and now I'm going to change and shoot some looks before I move hotels. It's going to be really tight because my friend just texted me saying that she has to leave LA at 1 o'clock for a meeting back over in like South Coast Plaza area and I don't finish here till like 11, 11.30 and it takes like quite a long time to go from downtown LA to Beverly Hills so hopefully there won't be bad traffic otherwise there might be a little bit of an issue i moved hotels caught up with a friend and now i'm on rodeo drive running some errands i have to go to jimmy choo to fendi nima marcus and to my favorite chocolate shop to pick up like a few little gifts for some people and i also have to go to my alterations person and she closes at like five o'clock so i need to kind of hurry i am back at the hotel now and i'm sitting on the floor i made it almost to everywhere i was supposed to go today but i didn't get a chance to go to the chocolate shop because they were already closed when i got there most of the stores on rodeo drive extended their hours until seven o'clock for one hour for the holidays but that was not the case for this chocolate place so i will have to go tomorrow but i did make it to everywhere else and i did also get to my alterations lady so that was good and i will show you everything that i got tomorrow because it is dark and i'm going to head out for dinner now so i will see you tomorrow good morning guys i'm going to show you very quickly what i got yesterday because i am running late and i only have like five minutes so we will do this quickly the first thing this is chanel that i picked up from nima marcus and inside is just a little box and maybe you can guess what it is already chanel earrings and this is another pair that i came across and i loved them it is just two CC logos and they are pearls and crystals and they're kind of like thin which I like that so that is the first thing and like I said sorry I have to do this very quickly because I don't have a bunch of time and from Fendi a pair of pants that I got from last week they were too small and this week when I went back to Fendi they had brought in the one size bigger for me so it is just these FF logo leggings. They're nice and comfortable and they're a little bit stretchy. So they aren't like jeans, which is nice because jeans sometimes aren't very comfortable. And I can think of like a million ways to style them. And from Jimmy Choo, it is a pair of boots. These boots, um, I saw them... I saw them actually in the press book that they had sent me for gifting previously, but I selected a different pair of boots. And I also like these as well. The Jimmy Choo store at the um, at Rodeo Drive actually had them in stock. They were the only store left in the whole U.S. that had these in my size. And it has like a snake print 
on it and the heel is like a mid heel height I usually like a higher heel but I thought this looked very chic and I like how the front cuts down on this boot as well so it's kind of like a western style but not really and I don't know this is like a nice boot for fall I don't really have anything like this color or this style so I can't wait to wear these and that is it for this unboxing like I said it was super short and super quick because I have to run okay so this is the look this morning I am wearing the Chanel necklace the puffy shoulder Frankie shop t-shirt and these new Fendi jeans and my Bottega sandals that I have not buckled on properly because I was in such a rush. So I'm just going to do it in my Uber and my bag I actually forgot in my room so I need to go get it. This is the Grove before Christmas. There are so many people and so much going on. Look at how many people want to ride the trolley. This line is so long and it goes like all the way around, all the way back here and it still continues. I just wanted to get a macaroon at my favorite place, Lottery, and there is a line again. Why? Everything during the holidays requires like an extra I don't know 30 minutes because there's lines everywhere so the reason why I was at the Grove was because first I went to this camera shop that was near the Grove and then I realized I needed this beauty blender stuff from Sephora because this is supposed to be really good for cleaning your beauty blender it's like a mitten glove thing that you put on your hand and then also I saw this beauty blender case holder so it just prevents I guess bacteria from getting onto it and this is the camera that I just purchased because I wanted a camera that was easy to use that I can also take pictures like have friends or family take photos not just a photographer this camera is like compact and easy to use and I mean I hope it's easy to use so I'm going to sign up for a class and learn how to use this thing and now I'm going to get ready quickly and then head to dinner because my family's in town. I am at this place called Marin Glam to do my microblading for my brows and their office is so cute and here's all my luggage because I'm heading straight to the airport after. Please excuse my appearance. I'm not wearing any makeup at all, so I look disgusting. But my brows look so amazing and I'm so happy with them. And I have like a little bit of time before I have to head to the airport, so I'm just gonna wait here, answer some emails, and then I'm flying back home for the holidays. I am now home for the holidays and I just got myself ready and I'm gonna go get changed and head out to dinner with my family. And I'm going to end this video here, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!